Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to talk about Poisson's ratio from a topic called mechanical properties of solids. So let me first try to identify what do you mean by Poisson's ratio. Let us consider a rigid support where to that rigid support assume one end of a thin wire is fixed. So this is a thin wire. Assume on the upper surface it is fixed. On the lower surface it is free and at the free end let's assume some force is applied. So this wire is obviously having some length, some area of cross section made up of a certain material therefore having some angst modulus. You have applied a force which creates a stress. The stress is, the stress is acting along the length and the corresponding stress is called obviously longitudinal stress. We can write that longitudinal stress as the force applied per unit area of cross section. There will be a corresponding strain. It's called something like longitudinal strain. That is, what is this longitudinal strain? This wire will increase its length by a small value, delta L. So longitudinal strain is increasing the length of the wire to its original wire. And you might have noticed this is the direction of the longitudinal strain. So if a wire's length is increasing, obviously, it cannot increase from the sky. If a body length is increasing, its thickness has to decrease. Why? Because volume of the wire is equal to the product of area of the cross section of that wire multiplied by length. Being volume of the wire is constant. Why volume is constant? Because the density of the wire equal to mass per unit volume. Density is constant, mass is also constant for a given wire at a given time at constant temperature. Hence, volume is also constant. As the volume is constant here, as length increases, it's obvious that what happens is its area of cross section R thickness or breadth, whatever you call, automatically decreases. So now there is a strain happening in terms of the breadth. Where is the breadth? This is the breadth. Let it is having a breadth B. Let the breadth of that wire is equal to B. As the length is increasing, the breadth is decreasing. So there is a strain developed along the breadth. This strain is happening like this. Perpendicular to the linear strain or a longitudinal strain. That's why this kind of a strain is called something like lateral strain. Lateral means perpendicular to longitudinal. Defined as ratio of change in the breadth to its original breadth. Symbolically, as the length is increasing, the breadth decreases. So even it is being shown with a negative sign. So we have a strain along the length and we have a strain perpendicular to the length. Strain along the length is called longitudinal strain and the strain along the breadth is called something like lateral strain. Then Poisson has defined a ratio of these two. The ratio of lateral strain to that of a longitudinal strain is defined as Poisson's ratio in the name of a scientist and it is shown with a letter something like sigma. So Poisson's ratio is ratio of lateral strain 
to that of a longitudinal strain. So it measures how strong the material is in protecting its shape. So uh, its value obviously will be somewhere in between. Theoretically, it is supposed to be something in between theory. Theoretically, it has to be in between 0 and 1. But practically, 0 means what uh, delta B by B is nothing but equal to 0, which is not possible for any wire being not a perfectly elastic body there will be a change in its thickness and one is possible when delta b by b equal to delta l by l which is too much right if a wire increases by length by one centimeter we cannot expect it to decrease its thickness by the same one centimeter for its personal breadth therefore but practically the value of the sigma is equal to only 0 0.5 for a perfect elastic body for a perfect elastic body so for any real bodies real time bodies which is not perfectly elastic because no body is really perfectly elastic it's not possible to get something perfectly elastic in nature therefore for real bodies the value of the poisons ratio is greater than 0 but less than equal to 0 0.5 of course in our next video we are going to prove that for a perfect elastic body this poison ratio is going to be 0 0.5 please come back for the next video to watch and get that information thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you